The Key of Magic. The Emerald Tablets of Toth. Tablet number six. Hark ye, O man, to the wisdom of magic. Hark the knowledge of powers forgotten. Long ago in the days of the first man, warfare began between darkness and light. Men then as now were filled with both darkness and light, the duality. And while in some darkness held sway, in other light filled the soul. I, age old in this warfare, the eternal struggle between darkness and light, fiercely is it fought all through the ages using strange powers hidden to men. Again, wow, I just, I read this stuff, man. I'm going, George Lucas was all over this stuff before he wrote Star Wars. There's just no way he wasn't. Adepts has there been filled with the blackness, struggling always against the light. But others there are who, filled with brightness, have ever conquered the darkness of night. Wherever ye may be in all ages and plain, surely know that ye shall know of the battle with night. Long ages ago, the sons, S-U-N-S, the sons of the morning, descending, found the world filled with night. There in that past began the struggle. The age-old battle of darkness and light. Many in the time were so filled with darkness that only feebly flamed the light from the night. Some there were masters of darkness who sought to fill all with their darkness and sought to draw others into their night. Fiercely withstood they the masters of brightness. Fiercely fought they from the darkness of night. They sought ever to tighten the fetters, the chains that bind men to the darkness of night. Used they always the dark magic, brought into men by the power of darkness. Magic then shrouded man's soul with darkness. Banded together as in order, brothers of darkness, they through the ages, antagonist they to the children of men, walked they always secret and hidden, found yet not found, By the children of men. Forever they walked and worked in darkness, hiding from the light in the darkness of night. Silently, secretly use they their power, enslaving and binding the souls of men. Unseen they come and unseen they go. Man in his ignorance calls them from below. Dark is the way of the dark brothers. They travel dark. Of the darkness, not of the light. Traveling over the earth, they walk through man's dreams. Power they have gained from the darkness around them to call other dwellers from out of their plane in ways that are dark and unseen by man. Into man's mind space reach the dark brothers. Around it, they close the veil of their night. There, through its lifetime, that soul dwells in bondage bound by the fetters of the veil of the night. Mighty are they in the forbidden knowledge, forbidden because it is one with the night. Hark ye, old man, and listen to my warning. Be ye free from the bondage of night. Surrender not your soul to the brothers of darkness. Keep thy face ever turned towards the light. Ye... Know ye not, O man, that your sorrow only has come through the veil of the night. I, man, heed ye my warning. Strive ever upward. Turn your soul toward the light. The brothers of darkness seek for their brothers, those who travel the pathway of light. For well know they that those who have traveled far towards the sun in their pathway of light have yet another greater power to bind with darkness the children of light. Listen, ye, O man, to he who comes to you. But weigh in the balance if his words be of light, because there are many who walk in dark brightness, and yet they are not children of the light. Mm, Easy it is to follow their pathway. hmm? And again, stuff's written by Yoda. Mm, Easy it is to follow their pathway. hmm? Easy to follow the path that they lead. But yet, O man, heed ye my warning. hmm? Light comes to him who strives. 
Hard is the pathway that leads to wisdom. Hard is the pathway that leads to the light. Many shall find ye the stones in your pathway, many the mountains to climb towards the light. Yet know ye, O man, to him that overcometh, free will he be of the pathway of light. For ye know, O man, in the end light must conquer, and darkness and night be banished from light. Listen, O man, and heed ye this wisdom. Even as darkness, so is the light. When darkness is banished and all veils are rendered out, there shall flash from the darkness the light. Even as exist among men the dark brothers, so there exists the brothers of light. Antagonists they are of the brothers of darkness, seeking to free men from the night. Powers they have, mighty and potent. Knowing the law, they obey the planets. They work ever in harmony and order, freeing the man's soul from the bondage of night. Secret and hidden, they also walk. Known not are they to the children of men. Ever have they fought the dark brothers, conquered and conquering. Time without end, yet always light shall in the end be master, driving away the darkness of night. I, man, know ye this knowing always beside thee walk with the children of night. Masters they of the sun power, ever unseen, yet the guardians of men, open to all is their pathway, open to he who will walk in the light. Free are they of dark amenti, free of the halls of where life reigns supreme. Sons are they and lords of the morning, children of the light to shine among men. Like man they are, and yet they are alike, yet divided were they in the past. One have they been in oneness eternal throughout all space since the beginning of time. Up did they come in the oneness with the all one, up from the first space, formed and unformed. Given to man, they have given to man secrets that he shall guard and protect to him from all harm. He who would travel the path of the master must be free from the bondage of night. Conquer he must, the formless and shapeless. Conquer must he, the phantom of fear. Knowing must he gain of all the secrets. Travel the pathway that leads through the darkness, yet be before him keep the light of his goal. Obstacles great shall, be meet, shall meet in his pathway, yet press on in the light of the sun. Hear ye, O man, the sun is the symbol of the light that shines at the end of thy road. Now to thee I give the secrets. Now to meet the dark power. Meet and conquer the fear from the night. Only by knowing can ye conquer. Only by knowing can ye have light. Now I give unto thee the knowledge known to the masters, the knowing that conquers all the dark fears. Use this, the wisdom I give thee, master. Thou shalt be of the brothers of night. When unto thee comes a feeling, drawing thee nearer to the darker gate, examine thine heart and find if the feeling thou hast has come from within. If thou shalt find the darkness thine own thoughts, meaning if those thoughts belong to you, banish them from that place in your mind. Send through your body a wave of vibration, irregular first and regular second, repeating time after time until you are free from that thought. Start the wave force in your brain center, pineal gland. Direct it in waves from your head to your foot. 
But if you find that your heart is not darkened, be sure that a force is directed to thee. Only by knowing can thou overcome it. Only be wisdom can thou hope to be free. Knowledge brings wisdom, and wisdom is power. Attain, and ye shall have power over all. Seek ye first a place bound by darkness. Place a circle around, around yourself. Stand erect in the midst of this circle. Use this formula, spell. <laughs> formula means spell. Use this formula, and you shall be free. Raise your hands to the dark space above you. Close your eyes and draw in the light. Call to the spirit of light through the space-time, using these words, and you shall be free. So draw a circle around yourself. Close your eyes. Imagine the light coming in and say, Fill my body, O spirit of life. Fill my body with spirit of light. Come from the flower that shines through the darkness. Come from the halls where the seven lords rule. Name them by name. I, the seven, one, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine. By their names I call them to aid me. Free me and save me from the darkness of night. Untanas, Guterres, Chital, and Goyana, who are tall. Simveta, Ardal, by their names I implore them, free me from the darkness and fill me with light. Know ye, O man, that when ye have done this, ye shall be free from the fetters that bind ye. Cast off the bondage of the brothers of night. See you not that the names have the power to free by vibration the fetters that bind? Use them at need to free thou yourself, brother, so that he too may come forth from the night. Thou, O man, art thy brother's helper. Let him not lie in the bondage of night. Now unto thee give I my magic. Take it and dwell on the pathway of light. Light unto thee, life unto thee. Sun may thou be on the cycle above. So we have a little incantation there. How to free yourself from the bondage of night. Pretty interesting stuff there. Wow. Uh, man, oh man, oh man. I definitely felt some something, some energy shift when I was reading that right now. I don't know if you felt that, but I, I certainly did. That was pretty powerful. Kind of go in a zone when you're reading this, man. It's strange. You're kind of like, you know, you, you, kinda, you, know, you really do. You kind of feel... Like I don't know, you just kind of go in a trance. You just you're kind of on autopilot. We're reading this. It's very it's a very interesting thing, very interesting experience. We're gonna leave there. Uh, tablet number six tonight. That's the end of tablet number six. We'll pick up next time on the broadcast with tablet number seven, which is uh, rightly so called the Seven Lords. The Seven Lords. So that should be interesting.